Atlanta will become a more colorful and interesting place over the next two weeks. That's because artists are taking over downtown. They're sparking conversations through creation. The Elevate Public Art Festival started yesterday. Good day's Paul Milliken live in downtown Atlanta this morning. And Paul, there's really no telling what you'll see and what you'll hear for this. Right around every corner. Yeah, this is such a cool festival too, Elise, because it's one of those things that, you know, you've probably driven here through Broad Street and Martin Luther King Drive hundreds of times, but you've never really stopped and looked around you. And that's what Elevate does. It makes you stop. It makes you think about what's going on around you. And all the buildings are being covered with art. And there are so many great events going on. And this is something that I'm excited about too, because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of I'd say I'm an amateur cyclist. I like to be on a bike. I like to be with other people, though, in case I fall and I need help. So that's where Nedra comes in with Civil Bikes. Great to see you this Good morning. Good to see you, too, Paul. So you guys have a special thing coming up on Sunday for the Elevate Art Festival. Tell me what you're doing. Yes, we do. We have, we're doing an, a bike tour, mm -hmm. and we're riding between the Garnet Martyr Station, the Capitol, mm -hmm. South Broad Street, Woodruff Park, yeah. and in between. So we're going to... Uh, go through the landscape and stop at three different buildings okay. and look at some history that's very important to how Atlanta became what it is today. I love that. You were saying before, I mean, this tour is really kind of about civil activism. It's about showing how people got involved in the system to change the system, right? Yes, exactly. Um, civil Bikes, we like to promote the idea of being civically engaged. Yeah. You know, you see something, you do something, become responsive to your community. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at youth activism in the 1960s. We're also looking at um, the Capitol and cool. the early black legislators and then yeah. the race riot of 1906. Very nice. Okay. So so tell me again, it's Sunday what time? Sunday at 3 o'clock. Excellent. Okay, I'll put more information online. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, very, very yeah. cool. And then, so you'll go do the bike tour, and then you got to come over and hear these guys here. So we got Soul Food Cypher in the house. How are you guys doing right now? Great. Great. Waking Great. Great. up early this morning for us. You know, they, they told me they're usually going to bed when I'm getting up for work, which makes me kind of depressed, but I'm glad they're up this morning. If you would, tell me your names real quick. Alexander Acosta. Okay. Wahi Kashavani. Mm -hmm. Mark Mont. Mm -hmm. Zeno Ludgood. Nice to see you guys this morning. So for folks who don't know what Soul Food Cypher is, how would you describe what you do? So Soul Food Cypher is a community arts organization that utilizes freestyle rap to transform individuals and communities. Yeah. And we look to showcase the positive aspects of hip hop culture through our Cypher events, our membership program, and also community outreach, ultimately changing the rap on rap and passing the torch to the next generation. And a lot of what you guys are doing is really reaching out to young people in the community, right? Yeah, uh, we have a membership program, which is, uh, Zeno is a membership coordinator. Uh, all our events are free to the public, uh, all ages, and uh, it's really a way for us to uh, engage with the community. Yeah, I asked you this question before, and, and you gave the answer I wanted to hear when I said, you, you think just about anybody can learn to freestyle? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much like, like learning another language. Once you yeah. train your brain to associate the words with pattern and rhyme, and yeah you know, your own style, then you can pretty much pick it up. Very cool. And one of the things that you guys do is called wordplay. So explain to me real quick, what is wordplay? So what happens is there are words displayed and then the rapper freestyles to the words okay. on beat off the top of his head. Okay, so you see the words come up and then you got to just freestyle based on the words you've seen. Yes. Okay, I want to show our viewers at home what it looks like and then I want to try it real quick. I know we're almost out of time. So if you would, if one of you would first do it first and then I'm going to jump in and try it, okay? Got the mic, pass the mic to you. All right, let's try it. I'm ready. It starts in Atlanta. It starts in your brain. It starts like a panther. The belief from the strain from the same thing that came. The common start also for the common art. Bombing hearts with the unity inside the community. Beautifully. Don't catch the cotton mouth. Don't be a villain because I got the South chilling on side of the forensic styles that I've been building. They're looking for the artistry. The part of me that's going beautifully. I started the style like it's some carpentry. Inside a comic book I take a comic looks like I was Scott Summers on Drummers. Okay, that's, uh, how do you do that? I don't get it. That's amazing. All right. However, I can't leave without trying it, right, Elise? I got to try something. So, okay. okay. All right, ready? I'll back you up. I got, the, I got the beatbox back here. When I wake up in the morning, I like to eat apples because it's early in the morning and I don't know what I'm doing, but I read my books and then I go to the library. Then I play some basketball. <laughs> I haven't run once. All news what? is what I do every single day. But, oh, thank goodness that stop came up right there. Okay, so I didn't rhyme. But I vaguely kept up with a beat. Did I pass some sort of test? Yes. Maybe? Yes. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to okay. come see him tonight. I'm going to learn a few things. Keep your day Try job. Try to do a little better. Go <laughs> ahead and keep your day job. Love it. Yeah. Well, I have to be honest. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. That You're makes my welcome. day. I appreciate one one person is on Team Paul. Thank you. Keep practicing, though. Keep practicing. Coming